This is the first time I've used a smartwatch, so what we'll do is we'll show you how to use it and get it set up. But I, I'm really impressed with how it looks uh, to begin with. We've got a nice strap. And on the left hand side, we have the micro USB connection, so that's how you charge it. On the right hand side, you have the power on button. So there we have switched on. You just need to hold the power button for a few seconds. You press this button and it unlocks the screen. Okay, what we'll do is connect the Bluetooth smartwatch to my phone. So we come up with the OnePlus One. So it's click. So we're pairing with the OnePlus One, which is my phone. And then obviously you authorize it with your on your phone as well if you need to. And so you can't be connected to more than one at the same time. So what I'll do is disconnect from my iMac. So I'm just going to connect to the OnePlus One now. So it makes that noise to say that it's connected. Uh, we have the phone book. So just loading now. And basically you have all of your contacts on here. So you can see the mobile number. And you can even call the person as well. What you need to do next is download an app called BT Noticed. And then from there what you need to do is access your settings, accessibility settings. And from there you'll be able to manage a lot more features. So let's have a look at some of the features that it has. If you press this button here, this is for the menu. You can then press this button here, the middle button, to scroll through it, or you can just scroll through like that. So here you have sort of like a reminder system. You can set it here. And then if you go back to the menu, we've got messaging. We've got the phone book. You can call someone. Uh, we've got the call list. You can change the music from here. So you can play a song here. Um, adjust the volume and change the song. We've also got the camera app here, so there you can see where my camera is. Moving on, you have the power saving options. You've got tools such as a calendar, alarm, and calculator. You've got other settings such as the sound. You've got language options as well. So you have these apps that you can just remind yourself to drink. You've got pedometer. got sleep monitor which is I think really good overall I think it's really, really good because you get a lot of features and for the price you can't really go wrong it doesn't feel like it's something cheap I actually really enjoy the quality buttons are really good also so yeah it's a great product and I really recommend it to everyone